as Donny T would say, we've got some fake news. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland. Any quick update here for the EA Sports SC24 ratings? So, over the past couple of days, I uploaded two ratings videos. One was for Rangers, one was for Celtic. It appeared to be the updated ratings for SC24, but I did say they weren't official, so they could have been fake, they could have been bullshit, and it turns out they were bullshit, and I kind of thought that, because when you looked at the cards, they did look very similar to FIFA 23, some of the players looked too similar in terms of ratings, and some of the players' ratings were well off, you know, you had players that Celtic had spent millions on, and they had ratings like in the low 62, so that didn't really make much sense, now Celtic have tweeted this as, I guess, an official FC24, um, you know, play presentation or whatnot. So they've got the actual cards here. This is definitely from FC24. So this is the new ratings for the upcoming game. They've only posted 10, so we don't know what the full squad is. But you can see the 10 that they have posted. I believe they posted the highest 10. So it's the highest 10 rated players that Celtic have. That is what the Celtic official Twitter account has posted. And they've got seven players that are golds four of them are rare golds and then the next highest three rated players are silver so you've got abada her and maeda all 74 i noticed the big thing here is that Joe Hart's been downgraded two ratings. I'm not sure that's enough. I've seen a lot of Celtic fans here complaining about his downgrade, but for me, I think he should have been downgraded a lot more than that. I think 74 is too generous for Joe Hart. He really is a shy goalkeeper. Uh, then we've got the first gold card, which is Greg Taylor. Look, I think Greg Taylor, the past 18 months, has been great for Celtic. Not quite sure if he should be a 75, though. Especially this season, he's coming under a lot of fire, uh, a lot of criticism. A lot of Celtic players don't really want him in the team, so I don't know if he should be 75, but fair play to him, I guess. I'm not going to cry about it. It's, I would, I'd say he's maybe like one or two ratings higher than he should be, but it's not a horrible rating. I, I can accept 75 for Craig Taylor. 75 for O'Reilly. Then we've got Johnston, who's also 75. He has a rare gold card, but since he's young, he's probably going to have potential of, I'd say... 82, 83, maybe 84, something along those lines. We've got Carter Fickers, who's a rare gold at 76. And then from this point onwards, each card goes up by one. So you've got Carter's 76, Kyogo 77, Hatate 78, and Callum McGregor 79. So I do think it's interesting that out of all these players that Hitati is the third highest rated. Personally, for me, I would have no. I mean, Furuhashi. I would have gave Furuhashi the highest rating. Uh, he's one below Hitati. I'd have probably gave Furuhashi a, a rating higher than Hitati. I'd have switched them about at least. If you want to give Kalmak the number one rating spot, then fair enough. But I would have had Furuhashi seventy eight and Hitati seventy seven because I think Furuhashi. I think. I believe he's more important to Celtic. I think if Celtic had to lose one of those players, if you had to get rid of one, you would rather keep Furuhashi. I, I, I genuinely believe that. Plus, you've also got to consider that Celtic have got more options in midfield than they do in that striker role. But no, I do think Furuhashi is a little bit more important to Celtic than Hatati is. He's also four years older than Hatati, four, three or four years older. So Furuhashi's not going to improve. His overall's not going to go up. Whereas Hatati, at his age, you would expect Hatati to get into the 80s. His potential should be low 80s with a 78 rating. Whereas Furuhashi's at the age now where I highly doubt you're going to get his rating up. You know, he might get up to 78, but like that's it. So I'm a little bit surprised here about these ratings, but I can confirm that they are official, and uh, yeah, we're not that long to go now till FC24 comes out, let me know guys what you think of the ratings down below, do you agree with these ratings, do you think some people should be higher, do you think some people should be lower, let us know down below, I'll catch you in the next one guys, Been Scotland 90, thanks for watching, gonna go and watch Scotland tank England now, peace.